All right, here we are. Day like 975 of staying at home. We're doing well. We're still looking at pictures of where we've been and traveling. So that's our point. We're traveling through where we've been to kind of just mitigate us being so close to each other. Yes, and I'm not saying much because um, he's getting on my nerves. Really? When did that happen? Like in the last five minutes. <laughs> It's because she accused me of doing something with the camera that he, I did not he do. You made the button push that was recording. I did not. I didn't put it in the thing. Wasting my battery. You put it in the thing, Bubba. All right. This week, Narbonne. Narbonne. So oh we my saw gosh. Barcelona last time. You go to the east uh, over the Pyrenees and you get to Narbonne, which we found by accident. Because I had to go to the bathroom, you guys. And in ancient times, they would put the steeple of the thing on top of the hill. So we're looking around. Where do we go? Where to the bathroom? We saw a steeple to a church that turned out to be. An incredible Phenomenal. castle, you guys. It yep. was amazing. Narbonne was uh, founded in eight, 188 BC by the Romans. Okay, well, aside from that, you get off this like A, what's it, A8? <laughs> now you want numbers? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know what it is. A7, I think, but anyway. Okay, you get off the freeway, okay, you guys? And you go, you go down this like road and you pass like this McDonald's and all this. You're like, okay, whatever. Yeah, and look all normal, of a sudden, right? you enter the most charming little town that has all these waterways and canals and bridges and flowers and yeah. sidewalk enough. cafes and, oh my God. We were like, who knew, it. right? It's like, I have to go every year. Now I have to go to Narbonne. Yeah, and we do. And what's nice about it is it's only a town of like 40 to 50,000. It's not that big. Well, way back in the day, it was actually bigger and more popular than Paris. Yes, it had almost like 100,000 people yes. way back like in yes. 1,000 or whatever. The crazy thing is, is there's a church there that was started in 1200, but never finished. And I think inside, and we have video of it, inside you have like a 150 foot ceiling, spire. Oh. It's, it's, it was, at one point it was the highest spire in all of France. So amazing. Yeah, you have to go see it. And the, and the church was never finished. So there's a back part well, of it. Let me tell you something. We, we always do the same thing. Like we like our, you know, routine. So we, she, she's very big on routine. So we always go park in the same area, go through the, they have this really great like farmer's market. And, Bathroom is down below in case yeah, you need to know. Yeah, and then they have an outdoor market. The first time we went, we really had to go and we had to have coins. Yeah, we had to pay to go. We had no coins, we're like, but, and then you go to the castle. Card. And then we like come back and we usually will have like an omelet or some mm -hmm. yummy like pizza or something. But this last trip, we actually walked past the castle. Yes. Into even like deeper into Narbonne. Yes. And it Deep. was even more beautiful, you guys. It has what, yeah, remember the across the river oh. at one point, what, the canal was uh, our houses. Houses, this is one of the few places in all of France where houses are built on a bridge over a uh, little canal, so. Yeah, but remember, wasn't there a boat coming and the canal like did something with the water? Yeah, <laughs> did some, yeah. <laughs> Moses was there and said, Behold his mighty hand. She was enamored by that. But I grew up in the state of Washington, so we have those I, all over I the grew up in San Diego, so I'm like beach, tacos, yeah. Mexico. Yeah, where's the volleyball? Um, but. Last time we were there as well, it was 93 degrees. It's which, always really hot. But, it was, but this was extraordinary. And then all of a sudden we hear this boom, chicka, boom, boom, chum, boom, chum. We're like, what in the world is that? Oh, yeah. That, was that last? No, it was time before. Whatever. It was one of the times. And uh, it was uh, like this French band, and they were like drumming it out. Boom, chum, chum. Yeah. And then they were like drinking pitchers of beer. Because they're like, we're so thirsty. Like, yeah. And then the next time we saw them, they're kind of like a little here, a little staggering. Oh, but, they were awesome. Yeah. But no, anyways, you guys, we were actually driving from Barcelona to meet a couple of our friends in near Cannes. Can, and um, we stumbled upon Narbonne. And if you have a chance to drive from Barcelona into the south of France, you go over the Pyrenees Mountains. Yeah. Um, it's a beautiful drive. They have the best rest stops ever, the Catalonia. Yes. Um, the Catalonia and French. What are you looking at me? I can't Tell I them. remember, no, no, it's Catalonia. Whatever. And then French, um, this one rest stop, and they have like the most incredible food. Yeah, we thought ever. rest stop, you, you asked me, oh going, there's, there's like salmon and all that. So like, good. What, where are we? Yeah, it was amazing. But then we just happened to stumble upon our bond because we have the bathroom, and now it's one of our most favorite places. We go every summer if we can. Yeah, it's called, it's only six miles from the beach, and it's called, it's on the secret French Riviera. It's mainly inhabited even in the summer by not tourists, but locals, like from France. So you won't get a lot of international tourists. It's a hidden thing. I, is that where I had the best ever omelet? No, that was oh. in... Um, what was that? No, I think this was there. Wasn't it? Remember when the young little boys like must have been like 16 served it? It was really nice. 
spoke a little bit of English. Anyway, it was very, food there is very yummy. You get all kinds of, and then also there's you a- You always have to have gelato. And there's a secret underground part of the city as well. that dates back to like 800 BC that we haven't seen yet. We haven't even seen the beach yet. Well, you cause it's six miles away. But six sure. miles is not that. Sure. How much do we drive in LA? I know. It's like bitching about, oh, the beach well, is six miles listen, away. Well, oh, listen, oh. listen, last time, real quick before we gotta go. Last time we're like, okay, the beach is that way. We've been all day in, in, in Narbonne and we're like, or oh, we just get on the freeway and head over to Cannes. Like, eh, let's go to Cannes. That's what we did. Anyway, Narbonne. No, no, also no, known no. as Narbo. Okay, but really quick, you guys. If you wanna see a spectacular castle yes. and an incredible cathedral. We'll throw a video, we'll put a video on this. Yeah, so, I mean, it's so, it's yeah. magical. And like, honestly, it's one of the most charming cities I've ever seen as far as- Great people. But also just really doing it well as far as decorating the bridges mm -hmm. and like these incredible flower pots everywhere and these sidewalk cafes and I love it. So if you guys have a chance to go to Narbonne in France on the Côte d'Azur, Gotta do it. All right, stay safe, wear masks, gloves. See you Thanks. next time. Bye. Bye.